Some people can present themselves really well in a job interview, get them in the game, they don't play so well. Can I take 60 seconds and share with you the brag book? Going back to my days as a corporate recruiter, some people had great resumes. They would get called for an interview. They'd come in, they could really sell themselves. Still, I would have this knot in my stomach that maybe they were just bending things or exaggerating a little bit just to get the position. What could I definitively confirm as fact or fiction on their resume? Education, certainly. I could call the university, talk to the registrar's office, and probably confirm that they went to school there. What else? Job history, yeah. So how many lines does that chew up on the Van Horn resume? I don't know, six? And it's a two-page resume. That means that everything else, you know, I kind of have to take your word for it. Every once in a while, somebody would come in to an interview, and they would say, well, Mr. Strankowski, can I take 60 seconds and share with you my portfolio of achievements and accomplishments? And I'd say, sure. And they would say, okay, well, Here's a letter of recommendation from my past supervisor. Oh, here's a company write-up in um, the company magazine. Oh, here's a sales report saying I was over quota on $3 million in business. Here's an employee review. Here's a good job email. Mr. Strankowski, I know you're going to be interviewing other highly qualified applicants, but I want to do for American Greetings what I've done for every company in my career. My comfort level went like this. Now suddenly it's not just lip service. They've got the validation to back it up. It's the proof in the pudding. Kind of reminds me of an old Wendy's commercial. Where's the beef? Well, that's the beef right there. This is my old brag book, by the way, when I was interviewing for sales positions. I didn't kill them with it like it was a family photo album. What I would do is put post-its on a couple of the pages and just share you know, certain pages with them. If they wanted to see more, that's fine. If they wanted to make copies, that was fine. If they wanted to keep it, no way. I might not get it back. What might qualify for brag book information? If you're right out of school, college transcripts, letters of recommendation, past projects, academic or professional, something that's non-proprietary, skills or assessment test. They don't come back right or wrong, good or bad, they just come back. Highlight some of your best attributes, brag book information, favorable employee reviews, great job emails, some of the obvious, awards, certificates. If your brag book has five pages, bring it along. I think 50% of it is the fact that you just have it. I think it's an outstanding time to do some volunteer work because nonprofit organizations are looking for good people like you. It's a great place to keep your skills sharp. Great brag book information. Or if somebody had a gap in their resume, you know, it's April now, maybe their last position left off in January. One of the early questions, what have you been doing since your last position? Guess what the number one answer was? Looking for a job. I know, you're sitting right across from me. What have you been doing to stay sharp? Talk to me about some of the seminars, the classes, uh, some of the tutorials that you've been doing. I've got brag book information going back to when Bon Jovi had poofy hair and more spandex. Should I include all that information? Defer to going back as far as you can so you can build a case that you were good in the 80s, good in the 90s, good in the 2000s, and you're good now. You've got a proven track record of success. If you present the job business plan after question two or three in the interview, you present the brag book maybe after question three or four. And you're probably gonna get one of these. Oh, uh, Miss Hiring Manager, can I share with you my portfolio of achievements and accomplishments? And the person's gonna go, sure. It's the deer in headlights look. I'm kind of being blinded here anyway. They just don't hear that stuff, but they should. And I'll tell you what, they'll really appreciate that when you provide some definitive validation that, hey, I've been a performer everywhere I've gone. I want to be a performer for you. This is brag book information, basically anything that offers the validation that you have the skills and expertise that you're claiming to have.